Hi guys, welcome to um, our little short today, which is going to be all about jump kicks. Now, I'm not professed to be an expert at jump kicks, but they um, are a little bit of fun that you can do at home, and I've let the dog out to say how much you like it. Right, right, right left leg forward, just loose some spot, needs to get the legs really warm today, and <coughs> get that quite quickly. Some off the air, just here, just winding up, shift, no wait, winding up, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, change legs. Then again, drive it knee up one. Try and get it right up into the chest. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, this time off the back leg. One, that leg swing. Two, Again, as you get warm, you get higher and higher. Don't go so high the first one. Keep the muscle. And stay moving. Just help keep the muscle better quick. Good. Good. And change of legs. Keep moving. So I'm slightly tight in his leg. Warm it up gradually. Getting leg swings out to the side. Try to get the foot forward. Heat in his hips. Jog. Then you come across and up. Across and up. Yes, yeah, and the other leg. Again, get it nice and warm. Across and up. Big circles. We're going to swap. Right, so we're going to do two or three basic jump kicks and just really some ways you can practice them. From jump kicks, you can be in the air, and that also makes it a little bit difficult. So, starting off, left foot forward. We're going to call it over here. That's a double snap kick. It can be either two full snap kicks whilst in the air, or it can be a knee followed by a snap kick. The advantage of the knee is it can keep you high. The way a basketball player gains height is through the knee. So if you watch basketball, when they slam dunk the ball, leave up, again, they use that knee to get the height, okay? So we can use the same principle. So, to get this going all on, it's just a knee, one, you can use it to get the height, ready? So make sure it locks the space, two, drive it up, good. Now three, drive it up. Four, drive it a little bit higher, good. This time we can drive it up, one, and the other leg through, one, and snap. So one and snap the other leg up. Ready? One. Good. Just work on the height. Two. Good. Now, like a good mate Gary, if we want to go up, I do want to go forwards. Three. So pushing the hips through. Let's fire great as well. It's not expecting getting height because that goes nowhere. One. We're going to get the distance. What the advantage in a free cell match is a sudden change in distance here. Yeah. We gain distance. It's not always about the height. Good, okay, change legs. Same again. So getting the height first of all. One. The back leg. Two. Good. Three. Good. Practice jump as we'll be in a minute. Four. Good. Now we'll put the kick in. Ready? One. So we're getting a distance forwards on our kick. Ready? One. Push your hip through. Ready? Two. Push your hip through. Ready? Three. Push your hip through. Alright, so that's made over here, and that's dropped off easier of a jump kick. So it does feature in one or two of the black belt cutters. And next thing we'll work on is more of a jump in Moshigiri off the front leg. So it's going to be Moshigiri off the front leg. Coming in that washer, Gary. But at the same time, we're gaining a bit of height. And there's different ways to do this. I'm going to show you some ways you can practice putting it together 
we had the full kick. So again, this time it'll help us have that spring in our step, in our, in our jump, keeping the knees up. So one, or when you come up, I want you to tuck the leg up as high into the shoulder and suggest as you can, cocking it for that more secure position. With these two, bring it up. Three, bring it up. Good, four, bring it up. Five, bring it up. other leg, ready? Keep it in. One, and two. When you jump, put it in the air and you feel as high as you can go, you can down, fire it out. Okay, so when we come up one, we fire that leg out. Get enough good more skill, I turn my body as much as I can. So we leave one, fire it out. Take it aside, I'm just gonna move the camera. Right, so one thing is you can do to help with that jump is to use a bar or um, back of a chair that's nice and stable, it must not move against okay, the edge of a fence, something that's not gonna wobble because nothing worse than jumping and, and it falling over and you end up in a complete mess. So I'm gonna use a bar and I start with two hands. So what I'm gonna do is when I jump, one and find my leg out. And it's gonna a little bit more time in the air to work and get the kick correct or spin in the air. So obviously we need to make, make sure we can kick wash first of all anyway, but then doing it in the, in the air is a little bit more difficult. You could use your mum's dad, they're cold and arm out, they're strong, they can kneel over, you could use their backs, they have a bad back. So think two hands, jump, throw it out. Good, and do the same on the other side. And then you get a little bit more confident, just use one hand. So imagine there, one, this time one. And go up, just that push. So start to gain the height, again, I'm starting to build up that strength. You can't go from zero to amazing flying kicks without an in-between. And this is the, the in-between, this support a little bit to help you out. It could even be a hanging rope or something, whatever you've got, just to give you that little practice of being in the air and kicking at the same time. All right. <clears throat> Remember, often you say don't jump, because when you're jumping, you, know, you get pushed over and you are quite vulnerable. And even in a freestyle competition, where you can take a charge, it's still quite vulnerable. But if someone comes at you, and you grab their arm, push down, and use that push down to think, jump at the same time, you can use the jump effectively. Right, last kick, ready? Okay, last one is the, the perhaps more traditional flying kick and probably the one I'm the worst at. So um, again, this is basically a cross kick. So a cross kick that we can do off the back leg, we step through and push through with our kick. So that's what we're developing. At the same time, we're launching off this leg. So it's that feeling of here, one, move dog, ready, move. So sorry, there you are, one, that push, that's where we're going. And when we do that jump, then we've practiced that 10, 20, 30 times. There, what? Get that leg up into that position because then we work on the kick whilst we're moving and then we build up to the kick so we get more and more right. So one, up, we push it through. So, first of all, then, 10, first of all, just practice that launch and that cock. So one, there, then, two, that leg right up, ready? Three. Work a little bit of height if you want. Four. So a few reflexes with my dog. Five. Six. Come here. Other leg. Same again. This time I'll that leg. So one. Pull that leg up. Lift right in. Two. Put it in. Three. Put it in. Right, now we're adding the kick. Again. I'm not going low to height at the moment. I'll make 
making sure my kick's better and they're not as high in. There's no point in trying to jump really, really high and just kicking down there. If you're far better off, then that kick's got to have two things. Momentum to drive through someone and make it unstoppable. A good bit of height, okay, and that will make the kick effective. If you're just a bit high in the air and a kick down there, waste of time. Ready? So one, right, forwards again. Other leg, push. You get that leg chambered. Now we're working on locking that leg out. And there we go through. Right, once again, show you my other angle. So same again with the bar, okay, we can walk on that, hands on the bar, the launch ourselves, one, push it out, and there's a frost kick this time, so very slightly, there's a good frost kick wood, and turn my thumb slightly up, okay, to get that nice lock, with the assistance of the bar, and then work again, if you're in a crowded place and lots of objects around you, tables, chairs, potential there for jump, start to help you. Right, so a little bit of a fun one today, so we can now go outside and practice walking the jumps. Remember the key bits to make it successful. One, make sure your kicks are good, the three kicks you've done. May Gary, Wash Gary, Coma Gary, those three basic kicks. When you've got those good, you're now just a jump. And then you go halfway, you just the bar, just out of balance. There's one more wobbly enough kick, so good. Build it up, give it a go, have fun. Well done.